Ryan, when I was reading about you last night, I, I was incredibly impressed. I mean, you are a stud, a rock star. I mean, how's recovery going? Um, at first, it was a little hard, but getting used to like just seeing out of one eye. But I've gotten used to it, and I can still play basketball like I did before, but I had to wear protective goggles. You know, a lot of people, when I've been telling them about you, kind of wonder, okay, only one eye. How can you play basketball? You're not going to have depth perception. Are you, have you been able to adapt to see depth pretty easily? Yeah, at the beginning, when I was just shooting in my backyard, I missed every single shot. <laughs> but uh, I've kept practicing, and I've gotten used to it. That's awesome. I, you know, when I was your age, I probably would have given up after two or three air balls. I would have said, oh, I can't do it. Wow. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It's about character. Dr. Schiff, I want to explain to everyone, you know, what happened to Ryan, why he lost his vision, because this is obviously a devastating injury. Um, let's walk through what happened with Ryan. Certainly. When you get a severe impact injury such as this, the bony structures that are meant to protect the eye can all become impacted. So right here we have the eye itself. And um, over here, we have the nerve that connects the eye to the brain. This is like the cable for the television set, if you will. The eye is actually a part of the brain. And so just like brain tissue can't regenerate, the eye can't either. So if this nerve gets damaged, then no matter how well the TV functions itself, you're still not going to get a signal. And in his case, he had lots of injuries. The eyeball itself got injured. There was a lot of tissue swelling that we'll see here in just a moment. And in fact, we can go over to his uh, MRI. What we see here is we have one eye that's completely uh, healthy. And that healthy eye has a nice contour to it. Whereas the eye that got injured, by contrast, you don't see the nice circle. You see that it's kind of lost a lot of its shape. In addition to that, right over here, we see there's a tear in the side wall of the eye. So the eye itself got primarily severely injured. In addition to that, the nerve that we alluded to earlier, instead of being nice and short and healthy like we see here, we see the nerve over on this side as being tethered and long and stretched out. And so this nerve got injured. And as a result, it, nothing that the doctors could have done in the emergency room or in the operating room could have probably rescued the eye. You see all the swelling that the eye's gotten pushed forward over on this side. We have a nice, healthy, thin eyelid. Over on this side, we have all this swollen tissue. So the eye was swollen shut and compressed. And so people showing up on the scene would have had a hard time knowing what to do for him. What also happened was he got a tear from the cornea, the outer clear part, all the way across underneath this muscle, which is where the thinnest part of the eye wall actually is. And so the contents of the eye were in danger of actually being extruded. And that's the toughest thing. When people run up to help someone in an injury like that, the eyelid's all swollen. Their reaction is to try to want to examine the eye and help. And they try to pry the eyelid open sometimes, which is the worst thing you can do in that situation, because it puts even more pressure on the eyeball. And so the contents of it can, and lit, can literally extrude out from the eye. So if you have an injured eye like that, you want to leave the eye alone, get to the ER stat. Um, if you have an eye shield, great. But the most important thing is not try to be an ophthalmologist in that situation, because there's nothing you're going to do to fix that eye. Now, hoops is your new sport? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And uh, we got some footage of you playing basketball, but I, I don't think that's good enough. I, I think we should play some hoops right here, right now. Yeah. Yeah, for it? Of course, first things first, you yes. gotta protect, protect that eye, right? Always. So, goggles. Yep. I'll take this. And, gonna, uh, gonna have that Kurt Rambis look. That's right, <laughs> what so a I, handsome I, dude. I was testing all these balls before. I think this is all the right. best ball. So, you wanna fire up some free throws? Sure. All right. Okay. This is going down. <laughs> Nothing but this. You, you are an inspiration. We didn't let this injury get you down. And uh, we'll have to do this again out in the court sometime. What All do you right. say? Yeah. All right. Big round of applause for Ryan. <laughs>